Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. This is Brewster, my dog. He may be coming in and out of the frame. We're on our patio today. And in today's practice, we're gonna be working on wrist joints, knees, shoulders, and of course our ankles. Sometimes when we age and we get a, our bodies get a little grumpy, maybe we're dehydrated, the joints are gonna feel grumpy. So I'm gonna share with you some of the techniques that I share with my patients. I'm a registered acupuncturist and I'm also a yoga teacher. So join me in this practice. We're gonna be on the chair just for a short sequence. Let's get a little more limber and feel a little more happy. Okay, we're gonna start our, with our feet hip width distance apart, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders stacked on top of the waist. We're gonna draw our belly in. So really just kind of engage those belly muscles. Let's draw the chin in and lengthen the crown of the head as though somebody's pulling you at the top of your head with a string. How's that feel? Now, this is actually a posture in itself. This is called Tadasana, mountain pose on the chair. If you spread your toes, root them into the earth, okay? Draw the belly in, lift up through the crown of the head, close your eyes, take a deep breath in here, inhaling, and exhaling. <sighs> Let's do two more of those. Inhaling. Exhale. One more breath. In. And out. <sighs> now, if you had closed your eyes, open them up. Let's take the arms all the way up and reach up to the ceiling, to the sky. High five to the heavens. High ten. And then let's release. Take the hands down. And as you're in this position, I want you to keep the chest open, expanded, and keeping the belly drawn in. Don't forget to breathe. So we're exhaling as the arms come down. Okay, breathing in. Exhale, breathe out. Again, breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Let's take the arms to the sides, arms all the way up, breathing in. Touch your hands, press them together. Hands come to the heart. Excellent. Again, breathing in, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Again, breathing in, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Open up the chest, open up the arms here. Now breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, arms down. Again, breathing in. Exhale, breathe out. So we always want to start our practice with engaging and connecting to our lung health and our lungs expanding so we're preparing for the practice. Okay, breathing in, expanding more, and then exhale, breathe out. Perfect. Now from here, I'd like you to pretend that you're opening some doors in front of you. So really articulate those fingers, spread them nice and wide, open up these doorknobs, pull them into a fist, and then pull those elbows all the way back. Keep your chest up. We're gonna relax the shoulders as we do this. Great, again, breathing in, breathe out, pull back. Keep your chest up, belly nice and tight. Great, again, breathing in, breathing out. Chest up, tall spine. Again, breathing in, breathing out, pull it back, elbows squeezing to the back. Good, last one, breathing in, breathing out. Excellent. Release the hands, shake out the wrists, and let's go ahead and pretend we're playing an imaginary piano in front of us. Do, 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 do. All the way across, all the way across you. Great, keep on going, keep on breathing. Imagine it's a very big, heavy grand piano, so you're working pretty hard at pressing into those keys. Excellent, now shake it out, breathe. Now, roll out the wrists. Now roll the wrists upward. Keep the belly nice and tight, lengthen the spine. Inhaling all the way up. Stop, fist pump up to the heavens, up to the sky, breathe in. And then breathe out, soft hands, soft shoulders, bring the hands down. Good, we're gonna do that two more times. So rolling out the wrists, rolling them out. Inhale all the way up, 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 up. High fist, fist pumps to the sky. 
and then release soft hands soft wrists soft shoulders all the way down last one here roll it out breathing in inhale inhale all the way up nice little pump fist bump and then release well done now we're going to shake out the wrists and this time we're going to go inward three of those all the way up inhaling all the way up fist up and then release okay rolling inward now you don't have to do intense fists if you want to have the fingers open that's okay too try that we're always practicing ahimsa making sure we're feeling comfortable with what we're doing good now fist pump up to the sky and then soften okay that was two we're gonna do one more inward giving our these wrist joints a real good lubrication here motion is lotion okay up breathe in fist and then soften breathe out well done we're gonna shake everything out shake 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 give maybe give yourself a body shake too now hands are gonna come on top of the thighs we're gonna do a nice little cow pose so we're in a cow pose you're rolling the shoulders back and down sticking the tailbone out lifting the heart up to the sky breathe in here and then exhale breathe out chin comes into the chest we reach our fingertips the front of the knees draw the belly button to the back of your spine this is cat pose okay two more breathing in open up cow exhale cat i love this pose because it helps to articulate the spine opening up the vertebrae oh breathing in and exhale breathing out perfect whoosh how does that feel go ahead roll out the shoulders so I like to take my hands down to the sides of me roll them out for three two one let's roll them inward three two one let's go ahead and take our fingertips gently slightly on top of the shoulder so no pressure on the on the top of our shoulder just soft here good we're gonna take the elbow up and back up and back breathing in and out in out in and out soften the waist and look to the side as you do this continuing to breathe in and out in and out with the breath inhale exhale no strain on those wrists out inhale exhale one more set up and back up and back good both elbows come up breathe in inhale inhale and then exhale release <sighs> well done what does it feel like to do the same thing inward motion up and back so now this time we're focusing on instead of opening up the chest but rather almost rounding the upper back giving it a nice little stretch the other way soften the waist and really get into it imagine you're doing a little bit of a groove a little bit of a dance here on the chair Good, don't forget to breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Awesome. We're just gonna do one more here. One more each side. In, out, in, and out. How'd that feel? Come on back to setting the shoulder stacking on top of the waist and then knees still on top of the ankles. Great. We're gonna lift the crown of the head, make sure we're really back into our mountain pose, Tadasana on the chair good tighten those belly muscles suck them in really engage into this space to feel that strong mountain good breathing in and out very good now let's see what it feels like to do something for our knees so the knees were not designed very well a lot of people come and see me for acupuncture for their knees to for pain relief what I want to encourage you to do, if you have any knee uh, discomfort, we are going to take our hands, warm the area, okay? I'm a big fan of heat versus cold. Chinese medicine, which is part of acupuncture, is all about heat. So we're gonna warm up this area. And why warming up and heat is better is because it's considered allowing the blood to move more freely. Okay, so I want you to rub, rub, rub into these spaces. Now, I want you to slowly take your hands, just keep them where they are, on top of the knees, and we're just gonna go side to side. Okay, see how
how that feels. You don't do this very often. Good, how's that feel? Now, if you have handlebars, we're gonna take our hands onto the handlebars or you're gonna take your hands on top of the thighs, whatever is um, best for you. I'm gonna take my hands on the handlebars because it gives me a little more leverage. I'm gonna lift my heels up off of the ground and then slowly go to the one side. Gentle stretch here. Breathing and out. Come on back to center. Let's go to the other side. Breathing in and out. Good, come on back to center. We're gonna lower the heels down. Now, we're, if, you, if it's comfortable enough, I want you to take the feet together and then scoot yourself a little bit further off of the, uh, to the edge of your chair. So the sit bones are just kind of hovering. And I want you to imagine that you're doing little mini circles with the knees. So I'm doing a very minute circle here. I'm rotating them in a clockwise uh, direction. Okay, my hands are on the knees, keeping them nice and warm. You got that? And then we're gonna rotate the other way. So yeah, you may have to use a little bit of your core to do this. Again, your sits bones are gonna have to move a little, and that's okay. It's your practice, your yoga. Okay, so these little micro movements are so wonderful for the tendons. We're strengthening them, and we're doing a little stretch. Good, done. Okay, we're gonna toe heel the feet back out. If you have your handlebars, go ahead and take them, and go ahead and give yourself a little stretch <clears throat> give a little wiggly 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 with the knees let's go ahead and place the feet back down onto uh, making sure they're hip width distance apart now from here I'd like you to take your hands on top of the thighs shoulders are going to stack back on top of the waist let's go ahead and lift those heels back off of the ground okay so we're on the ball of our foot how does this feel breathe in here and breathe out, lower the heels down, and it activate it. So start to spread the toes and be really conscious of grounding the feet, okay? Pressing the heels down now, good, and now lifting back up onto the balls of your feet, and then releasing. Good, again, breathing in, breathing out. So now we're articulating those ankles, breathing in, breathing out, pressing them down, in, out, Relax the tail, but engage your belly. Inhale, exhale, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, let's take one heel off and then switch the other heel. So that heel goes down, the other heel goes up. We're just kind of giving our brain something else to do now. So we're alternating heel up, heel down, heel up heel down, switching, alternating, breathing in, breathing out, keeping your belly nice and tight, breathing in, and breathing out. Good, now lift both heels up, inhale, and then exhale, press those heels down. Well done, we're gonna extend those legs out, give yourself a little shake, taking maybe your hands on top of the, um, the handlebars, and then lifting your feet off, engaging your core and shaking, giving yourself a little shake. Wonderful. Now I want you to go ahead, pressing into your right foot, lifting up the left. We're gonna go ahead and cross the leg over into a figure four. Okay, so we're not working on the hip here necessarily, but you're gonna get a little bit of a stretch there as well because we're working on these extra little joints that we don't, we neglect. So in this posture, we're gonna be working on the ankle here. If you can, I want you to take your fingers and put them between each one of your toes. And then when you're comfortable, I want you to start rotating in a clockwise direction. Great. And then we're going the other way too, the other direction. Awesome. Are you breathing? How does it feel? And then I want you to release those hands Give yourself a little shake and give your foot a little pat. And give your ankle a little rub. Awesome. Help release that foot and leg down, other side now. So pulling it in and then crossing, interlacing the fingers, 
sitting up nice and tall, clockwise direction. Breathing to start. Always breathing, actually. <laughs> okay, and we're going the other way. So you'll notice one side of the body is always kind of grumpier than the other. So take notice of this. You need to have that nice, beautiful mind-body connection. But also, if you're gonna do this on your own, let's say you're watching TV, you're doing this on the sofa, and you just kind of want to work on the ankles, start on the grumpy side first, okay? Good, I'm gonna release those fingers outside. And I love doing that. If you can get the fingers between the toes, this helps to have that beautiful separation of those toes, which really helps to open up and put more space, more blood, more chi, more life force into that area. Okay, let's rub into the ankle, give it a little warmth. And then let's release out. How did that feel? Okay, now from here, let's go ahead, reposition ourselves back in Tadasana, shoulders on top of the waist, knees on top of the ankle. Let's take the arms all the way up. Touch the hands together, breathe out, hands at the heart. Again, breathing in, arms up, hands to the heart. Again, breathing in, arms up, hands to the heart. From here, we're gonna go ahead and twist gently, come back to center. Let's go to the other side, twist, come back to center, and then lower your hands down. Well done. That was a, just a short little sequence to help you with your joints shoulders activated, um, your wrists, your fingers, a little bit into your knees and into your ankles. Even your toes got a little bit of chi and blood activated in there. If you like this practice, please subscribe to me. Give me a comment. Let me know how you like this practice and if you're looking for something else. I wish you a wonderful day. Namaste.